The Most Worshipful Brother Robert M. Richmond Memorial Library Museum is honored to present a short presentation for the walking tour of the Willamette No. 2 capstone. We truly hope that you enjoy the tour. The history of the Willamette No. 2 capstone is a very interesting one. On March 11th, 2015, the Library and Museum Chairman received a phone call from the Grand Lodge of Oregon Grand Secretary asking me to contact a brother from Willamette No. 2 Masonic Lodge who wanted to donate a cornerstone to the Grand Lodge of Oregon Museum. I made this phone call and this brother informed me that he was in possession of the original cornerstone of Willamette No. 2 of Portland, Oregon. The stone was located at the old Selwood Masonic Lodge building that was recently sold. This person continued to share that the membership of the Lodge of Willamette No. 2 voted and approved to offer the cornerstone to the Grand Lodge Museum first and if the Grand Lodge didn't want the stone, it would be offered to the Oregon Historical Society. This donation was accepted by the Grand Lodge of Oregon Museum. Within the next day or two, the Oregon Masonic Museum acquired the Willamette No. 2 cornerstone. This was no cornerstone. On June 30th, 2015, Chad Boudreau of Holbrook No. 30, Adam Thorvaldson, and Brian Hellman of Tuolity No. 6 came to the assistance of the museum staff and helped move the cornerstone from my home to the Grand Lodge where it sits. Worshipful Brother Kyle Grastrom from the Grand Lodge of Washington Jurisdiction was invited by the Worship Master of Union No. 3 to speak at their stated meeting on February 6, 2018. The very next day, both Worshipful Brother Grastrom and Johnny J. Edwards met at the Grand Lodge of Oregon to take a tour of the Grand Lodge's library and museum. It was noticed that Brother Kyle was looking at a photograph on one of the bookshelves for a very long period of time. The story of the cornerstone had just recently been shared with worshipful Brother Grastrom. He asked Johnny J. Edwards to come over to see something. He said, look at the top of the building pointing to a picture that had been on the same shelf for many, many years. It was at this time that it became very clear that this cornerstone was not a cornerstone. Rather, it was a capstone from the first Masonic building ever built in Oregon. The year span of 1859 through 1872 the Willamette No. 2 Masonic Lodge building was removed to 2nd and B Streets. A commodious brick-built building upon the site by Captain Flanders was built. The upper story was then leased to the lodge, where the lodge stayed until the lodge moved once again to the side of the building erected by the Masonic Building Association. In the year of 1872, the lodge moved once again to the site of the building erected by the Masonic Building Association. It was at this time 
that the history of the capstone of Willamette No. 2 disappears from written record. Willamette No. 2 history doesn't detail the stone's removal from the 1859 through 1872 building. The Apostolic Faith Church purchases the building on October 1, 1908. The church moved into the upper level above the Portland Tent and Awning Company. Later, they also secured the ground floor formerly used by the Portland Tent and Awning Company and used it for office space. According to the photograph showing the old building and the Grand Lodge Museum, the stone was removed in 1914 or thereabouts. It can be assumed the Apostolic Faith Church decided to remove the Masonic emblem from their new building of worship. It was at this time that Willamette No. 2 somehow acquired the stone. It is clear that at some point the stone was either removed from the top of the building after the changing of meeting places for Willamette No. 2 or upon the leveling of the old building, the top stone was rescued before its destruction. In 1990, Willamette No. 2 moved their meetings to the Selwood Masonic Lodge building and it's obvious that the Mystery Stone followed the brothers at some point. From 1990 to the year 2015, the capstone was kept in the basement of the Selwood Masonic Lodge and slowly was forgotten to the point that no member currently at the Lodge of Willamette No. 2 recalls its history.